Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll see how FSR through lossless scaling software impacts image quality and performance in one of the most requested game that is Red Dead Redemption 2. My first video on this global implementation of Fidelity FX super resolution on all games piqued a lot of interest. However, in my previous video, I couldn't show you the image quality as well. Since the upscaled image was not getting picked up by Nvidia Shadowplay and I did not have a capture card either. In this video, I have managed to capture the upscaled image quality through OBS using CPU encoding on a 6-core Ryzen 5 4600H laptop that is the HP Pavilion Gaming 15 EC1024AX, something which was not possible on my 4-core Helios 32018 that I tested earlier. Okay, now before showing you the image quality and performance results, let me show you how you can upscale the image using lossless scaling. So unlike my previous video where I used clear-cut scale factors, it doesn't work as well in RDR2. In fact, using scale factors often crashes the game. So what you have to do is keep the game in borderless window mode, choose your internal rendering resolution, apply, switch to lossless scaling, keep scale factor to auto and simply click on scale in 5 seconds. Switch back to the game and it will be upscaled in 5 seconds. So let's get to the image quality comparison. We are using a mix of ultra and high settings and some medium settings. First of all, I'll give you 15 seconds to guess which side is the native image and why. Comment down below. And time is up. The left side is the native 1080p image and the right side is the FSR upscaled image from 900p. Did you guess it right? Now this is what movement looks like. Please ignore the choppiness on the right side clip which is upscaled. It's choppy because the CPU encoding is too demanding and the laptop is equipped with only single channel 8GB of RAM. The actual gameplay experience which I'll show you in a moment is way better. Okay, now let me show you how the performance holds up. Now performance will be, you know, it could have been better if I used dual channel 16GB of RAM, but regardless, we see a 13 to 15% improvement in frame rates. Once again, we are being held back by the RAM, keep that in mind. Also, we are playing at really high settings, which is not really suitable for a 4GB GTX 1650 card. Playing with a mix of medium to high setting would be a more reasonable experience for this card.
So guys, what do you think of this global FSR implementation? Do you think it's a legit gift to budget gamers? I sure think so. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to drop a like and definitely subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.